Thank you, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I'm running late. It's not because I'm Persian, because, you know, Persians operate on PST, Persian Standard Time, which is normally two hours after <laughs> the time promised. No, I, I'm running late today because I was at a photo shoot. The photo shoot itself didn't take very long. It was the processing that took forever. Damn, LAPD is so slow. <laughs> Right before Valentine's Day, I went to uh, Victoria's Secret to get some stuff for my girlfriend. The salesperson comes up to me, very beautiful girl. She goes, uh, how can I help you? I said, well, I'm looking to get a pair of, uh, you know, these sexy gloves that you have here. And who are these gloves for, sir? Well, it's for my girlfriend. I want to get her something sexy. Well, what size is her hand? I don't know, honestly. I don't know. Let me help you. She put her hand on the table and she said, put your hand over my hand and compare to see whether if it's bigger, smaller, or the same size. I put my hand on hers and it felt like my girlfriend's hand size. So I said, no, no, this is perfect. Uh, your hand size is just right. Okay, I'll get you a pair. Is there anything else I can help you with? <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually looking for a bra and uh, panties for her. She goes, well, what size are those? And I said, oh, you're going to have to help me with this one. <laughs> because I don't know. So Easter Sunday is coming up, and uh, I saw this uh, Christian... Uh, people they had some sort of uh, gray mark on their forehead and I asked them uh, what is this sign of they said well this is the day Jesus died and I said and why are you wearing this uh, gray mark on your forehead and they said because this is Good Friday and I said what is a Good Friday he said yeah we just told you Good Friday is when Jesus died I'm like damn if Jesus is killed and you call that Good Friday what the hell is a bad Friday <laughs> Anyway, Good Friday for who? Certainly not for Jesus. <laughs> oh, before anybody gets offended, you know, because this is comedy. You know, I am not anti-Jesus or anti any religion. I just want to say that uh, I'm thankful as a Muslim, uh, and I think Christians should be thankful as well, that Jesus came along. Because there's an old saying in America that says, Roses are reddish, violets are bluish. Had it not been for Jesus, we'd all be Jewish. <laughs> Living in Los Angeles, you have to drive around everywhere. And if you can't get Uber when your car is broken down, so you were forced to take the public transportation. About uh, three weeks ago, I, for the first time in my life, I took the Metro bus. Two stations later, a beautiful girl got on the bus and oh my god, she had such a huge resemblance to Celine Dion. I tried to control myself and not say anything, but my mouth sometimes runs without me thinking. I said, excuse me, ma'am, has anyone ever told you that you look like Celine Dion? And just before I was done saying that, another uh, passenger said, yeah, he's right, man. You look like Celine Dion. And another person said, yeah, you look like Celine Dion. Yeah, you look like Celine Dion. And she was just overwhelmed so of course i had to say the next thing without thinking would you mind singing that famous titanic song she was all red and embarrassed and people started saying yeah yeah you should sing that you should sing please please sing that famous titanic song so she obliged and started singing every night in my dreams i see you i feel you and BAM! The bus hit the iceberg and we all died. <laughs> well, except me, who would live to tell you the story. As I was going to do a show at the comedy club the other day, I hear this ad on the radio for Cedars Sinai Medical Center. At Cedars Sinai, we treat cancer with science. And I'm thinking, what the hell? What else will you be treating cancer with? Voodoo or home remedy? <laughs> 
As I was coming back from a show uh, at LAX, you know, I always have trouble because of my first name, Islam, being Muslim and uh, being born in Iran. Sometimes I get detained by the uh, Homeland Security and they ask some routine questions and then I leave. But as I was leaving, I noticed old, like a grandfather Iranian, they had handcuffed him and they were taking him to the interrogation room. I kept hearing the old man pleading, translator, translator, please, translator. So I volunteered. I said, uh, gentlemen, and I speak Farsi, uh, I think he's Iranian. Can I be of any help? So they said, thank you. And we went to the interrogation room and the poor old man, oh my God, he was white as a ghost. I asked the officers, what's going on? He said, well, Officer Gonzalez said, well, the gentleman was going around the airport saying, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. So we just thought he might be trying to blow himself up, even though he didn't look like it, but we couldn't take a chance. So I told the old man, this is what's going on. Uh, why were you saying Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar? He goes, no, no, no. My, my grandson uh, missing at the airport. So I uh, yell his name, Ali Akbar, Ali Akbar. <laughs> Where are you, Ali Akbar? And these uh, stupid, crazy officers arrested me. <laughs> the Israeli government partnered with Uber and started the rideshare company in Israel called Juber. <laughs> And Hasidic Jewish passengers get 50% discount on Shabbat <laughs> if they choose to cheat and get in the car. Last night, I was at 7-Eleven trying to get some beer and I saw this low-carb condom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I may be out of the dating scene and, you know, having frivolous sex with people, but who the hell eats the condom? <laughs> So I'm meeting up with my friend Tyrone, who happens to be African-American, formerly known as Black. <laughs> I told him, okay, I, uh, we meet at 10.30 tomorrow morning at my house. So I'm waiting and waiting and, you know, 10.30 comes by, nothing, 11, nothing, 11.30, Finally, at 11.45, he shows up. I'm like, Tyrone, what the hell, dude? He goes, man, what's wrong, man? We were supposed to meet up at 10.30. It's an hour and 50 minutes later. Well, you know how it is. He said, no, I don't know how it is. What happened? Why are you late? Are you becoming Persian? <laughs> uh, I, basically, I woke up and shit, and, uh, and then uh, I put my clothes on and shit, and... Uh, and then I uh, put my shoes on and shit, and then I got out of the door and shit. And I'm like, what the hell is wrong with your stomach? He goes, what you mean? I said, you seem to shed a lot. Is there something wrong with your stomach? <laughs> FBI sources in California say that radical Muslims are planning to go on a rampage in the city of Los Angeles, killing anyone who is a U.S. citizen. Police officials fear that the death toll could be as high as nine people. <laughs> That like Caitlyn Jenner, you know, ex Bruce Jenner, he or she, or I don't know what you say, it looks so great that I think it made his ex-wife or her ex-wife, Chris Jenner, jealous. So, and you know, the Kardashians, they always have to hog the camera and make news. So she is planning to have a sex change operation, Chris Jenner. She's planning to have a sex change operation and become a man now just to get even with uh, Bruce. And you know how when you remove your tonsils, they call it tonsillectomy? Chris Jenner's uh, surgery to become a man is called adedictomy. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese have Kung Fu. Koreans have Jiu Jitsu. Israeli government have developed a martial art similar to Jiu Jitsu. It's called Ju Ken Su. <laughs> it is most effective in the courts. <laughs> Have you ever noticed whenever you board a plane, if you're sitting in the exit row, they want you to help out with the passengers in case of emergency? Why? Because that seems like a lot to ask. That's a lot of responsibility for the two extra inches legroom that they give you. <laughs> Come on.
And are you gonna give me a discount? Am I gonna get a medal for being a hero afterwards? <laughs> hey, I was just thinking. KKK, Ku Klux Klan. When they want to put out their newsletters, do they use black ink? <laughs> Even though I was born in Iran, casting directors always think I'm a Mexican. And I was born Muslim. So imagine a Muslim Persian who looks like a Mexican. You know what that makes me? No, not a Muslim Mexican Persian. According to this administration, I am screwed. <laughs> It's such a shame that Chris Christie is no longer running for president because he alone could have bridged the gap between the Democrats and the Republicans. <laughs> I got pulled over by this cop the other day in a residential area and he asked for the driver's license and the registration so I gave it to him and he goes, you know why I pulled you over? And I said, uh, no, please humor me, tell me. You were going about 93 miles in a 25 mile zone. And I said, and? He goes, did you not see the sign? I said, I didn't see any stop sign. He goes, no, not the stop sign. There are a lot of signs around this street that says, drive like your kids live here. Did you see those signs? And I said, yes, I did, officer. He goes, and you still chose to drive fast? And I said, have you met my kids? They are the reason I drive fast, to get away from them. Ah, just kidding. I don't have any kids anymore. <laughs> As a comedian named Islam, Muslim, Iranian, there are certain things I cannot say on stage. Like starting the show and saying, hey, we're going to have a blast tonight. <laughs> Americans will be getting onto the table. <laughs> Fearing their lives. Or, hi, I'm Islam, I'm the bomb. <laughs> Speaking of the bomb, the expression, you are the bomb, is a compliment in America, but it's an argument in the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs>